Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honor to my apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is Brother Kassad, and I'm going to be bringing out a few precepts dealing with this article which is from activistpost.com and it is entitled Worldwide Digital IDs will, will be required to participate in society by 2030. This is dealing with uh, biblical prophecy. I'm going to get the scripture on that. All right. But um, in this title alone, it says by 2030. All right. And my issue with that is that, you know, Esau thinks that his society is going to continue on forever and never. Okay. The scriptures speak against that mindset. All right. And Esau is the powers that be. All right. The ones that are in rulership. The descendants of Esau, they are known by today as Caucasians or so called white people. All right. Even the big nose small hats, they eat them ice too, the descendants of Esau. And they are the wicked according to the Bible. All right. And they think that they, they think that their their kingdom is gonna go on forever and never. That's why they have all these uh agendas for the future, man. These plans for the future. When in uh present day time, we're living in a time where you know the signs of the coming of the Lord is at hand. And the state of the world ain't doing so well. The state of the economy ain't doing so well, man. Okay, we're living in a time where any moment the Most High could bring judgment on this place, on this kingdom. All right. So it says, with help, with help from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation, the United Nations has grandiose plans to enslave every human. Beginning, being on this planet by 2030 permanently. The rollout of worldwide digital IDs is happening right now and will come with a cashless, fully digital payment system and a complete destruction of the illusion of freedom. On Wednesday, November 8th, 2023, a virtual launch event is scheduled to take place for what is termed the 50 and 5 agenda. The United Nations, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation the part and partners of the Rockefeller Foundation are launching the campaign to accelerate digital IDs, digital payment, and data sharing rollouts in 50 countries under the umbrella of digital public infrastructure by 2028, according to a report by the Daily Expose. So there you go. Now let's get right to the precepts. Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. It says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that he is talking about the Edomites. It's not talking about your average Joe Schmo Edomite. All right? It's talking about the elites of the society, the ones that have control over the money, the policies. All right? The resources, the armies, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image is their imaginations, their ideologies. All right, and that's the new world order that that comes from their agenda. That new world order. It says the beast, which is the power structure, NATO. North Atlantic Treaty Organization is the acronym. All right. Um, and then the, the EU. All right. The European Union. All right. And America being the head figure of his kingdom, which that power structure goes back to the ancient Roman Empire. It says that the image of the beast should both speak Meaning what? 
that those the the newer order the, the newer order agenda comes to pass. All right. And these are plans that they've been planning for a long time, man. It says, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. All right. Meaning what? If you don't comply with the, the, the image of the beast, which is the New World Order agenda, they're going to um, execute you. And deem you uh, basically a terrorist. It says, any cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That mark is talking about the... Um, RFID CHIP. Okay. The Greek word for mark is uh, karagma, which means an incision, a cutting in the flesh. All right. A carving in the flesh. All right. And to receive the CHIP implant, you have to, you have to receive, you have to. You have to cut into your skin in order to implant it inside of you. All right. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark. And that's exactly what it means. It means exactly what it's saying. You're not going to be able to buy anything. You're not, if you own a business, you're not going to be able to run your business. All right. It's the same he that had the mark. So unless you take it, if you got a business running and you don't take it, your business not gonna be functioning. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be uh you're not gonna be able to run your business. All right, if you want food, you wanna go to the supermarket, pay your bills. If you don't if you don't take the mark, which is that RFID C H I P, you ain't gonna be able to um buy those goods all right it says here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man his number is 600 three score and six 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 all right that that number has a very demonic vibration on it it's also dealing with the um UPC code, the barcode system. All right. So it's all it's all linked together with the with the RFID CHIP, which is the which is the um MOTB, as we just read as we read it right here. All right. This is Isaiah ten and one. It says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed." To turn aside the needy from judgment, the needy being the children of Israel. And it says, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. All right. Let's talk about our people. And Esau, as we just read, you know, read an article, it said that... The um rock it says the rock it says with help from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, the United Nations has grand doist plans to enslave every human. See what I'm saying? It says every human being on this planet by twenty twenty by twenty thirty permanently. All right, because we're already slaves. All right, but they wanna they wanna make you uh. That he wants to be like the most high, okay? They want to make you a perpetual slave, man. And they want full control over you. They want to be like, they don't want to just be a lord over you. They want to be a god over you. All right? This is Ezekiel 28 and 1. It says, the word of the Lord came again unto me saying, 
son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. And as Esau, all right, Esau thinks that he's a God, he has a God-like complex, all right, he wants to be, he wants to be like the Most High, all right, that's why in Revelation 17 chapter it talks about how Esau had the souls of men. Because there's people that already have the RFID CHIP implant. All right. And there's going to be more when it's mandated to take it. That's going to take it, man. Because they're going to be, uh, it's going, they're going to have no option. They're going to see it as not having another option. All right. And you're going to have even Israelites that get weak and take it, man. But war unto those Israelites that take them, the, the MOTB. Because they're going to be destroyed, man. And that's according to Revelation, the 14th chapter. All right. So there you have it. The point was made. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until next time, I'll say Shalom.